Hello guys, welcome to IPCS Automation. Today I'm going to talk about the TAA portal by Siemens. And nowadays TAA portal is the latest and the newest and the advanced software that used for the Siemens PLC and the automation techniques. So nowadays we are going to use uh, different kinds of TAA portals and different kinds of versions of TAA portals and the PLCs, SCADAs, HMIs, VFDs, motion control drives, everything. So the TIA portal stands for Totally Integrated Automation Portal. That means all the automation equipments by the Siemens which are integrated into one software. That is a Totally Integration Automation Portal. So in this TIA portal, we can do or we can configure the PLCs, the HMIs, the SCADA systems, and also the motion control drives. So these guys can be worked in an integrated manner. That's why we are choosing the TAA portal. That's why the best thing about the TAA portal. So the engineers can easily access and the training is also very, very simple for the TAA portal. And the Siemens guys are now introduced the all new TAA portal version 17. And they also introduced the cause effect metrics language. It's a whole new PLC language that uh, satisfies all the IEC standards of the PLC programming languages and also the cost effect metrics is the newest programming language that PLC or the automation sector that ever found that means a cause is coming and what effect does that makes that is the cost effect metrics I'm not going too much that CEM or the cost effect metrics let's come to the TA portal but we have some demerits in this TA portal. That's first demerit, which is the, which will be the S7400 is not compatible in this TA portal because the S7400 is the high-end PLCs that Siemens ever produced, and that is actually still running in the old Semantic Manager. That's the first software that Siemens has ever built for the automation portal, and that has been evolved into TA portal. But the TA portal can connect PLCs like S7300, S7 some kind of uh, 1200, 1500 and some kind, all kind of drives, HMIs, WinCC flexible, SCADAs, everything that can be done by the TA portal. But one thing is the S7400, that's the high-end PLC and which will be used as a DCS applications in the Siemens automation things. And one more thing we have to take care about the old S7200 it's still running in the software that will be in the step 7 micro win and it's not included in the TIA portal that's the another disadvantages of the TIA portal and let me talk about the other advantages by the TIA portal which will be first thing will be safety levels we can put the safety equipment and the safety blocks that can be integrated into the PLCs and the security and the alarms all are integrated in the single software which will be inside the TA portal and it's very it is very easy to configure all those things. The very next part in the TA portal which is the data management. We can create and synchronize the data blocks inside a PLC with any kind of applications that we can create our own data blocks and we can actually easily manage that, that kind of data blocks inside the TA portal. And the next thing which will be the online diagnostics. That means we can actually compare the values that coming from the PLCs and the current values. We can actually equalize the values and we can actually take the current values and the values from PLC easily in the TA portal and we can synchronize those values. Those are the advantages by the TIA portal. And finally, let me conclude that the semantic manager has been upgraded into the TIA portal to get several configurations or several more configurations actually the semantic manager is the basic thing of the TA portal and which is integrated with the other software like SCADA and the Synamic drive controls and the motion control series which will be whole integrated into the semantic manager and some painting works also done in the semantic manager that's all about the TA portal and now with 25 years of innovation they have integrated and they have innovated and do things in the TA portal and they made this software up to this point version 17 and it's the most advanced software and it got the award of the most innovative softwares in the automation sector and thank you